in the previous video we have created the google map key and we can now use this google map key in order to add or you can set display the google map in our flutter application so on, on our homepage dot dot file what we can do now in the body of our scaffold widget we can use a stack widget then we will use google map then the properties we have to set for example the map type map type dot normal we have different types okay terrain and satellite but we will proceed with the normal for example you can check out these other types as well hybrid non normal satellite terrain okay and you can also set values so we will proceed with the normal google map my location enabled true then the initial camera position so for now we will just pass to it a default location of course later we will get the user current location user current live location so for that purpose go to the documentation of google maps flutter and the initial location if you scroll here we can get that okay this camera position k okay, google plex just copy this come back to the project go to the global variable and we can simply pass that here okay remove the static from it so we have to import camera position which belongs to google maps flutter let's rename this to google plex initial position okay and then come back here here we can say google plex initial position also we need to create an instance of our google map controller so on our home page state let's import completer which belongs to dot asynchronous so this is our controller or you can say google google controller so now after the initial camera position we can say when map is created so we can say on map created google map controller we will give it name as uh, map controller make sure to remove this const from this parent scaffold widget okay as it is not constant widget now so google map controller the instance name is map controller we have to create another instance which will be also of the instance of google map controller and we will give it name as uh, controller google map and to this we will say this one is basically google map completer controller okay we will give to it this name google map computer controller so now when the map is created we will assign the this map controller to our map to our controller google map our google map completer controller dot complete which will complete our controller google map that is to display the google map okay so now let's test our application to see if it is working or not so the app is running now now let's quickly log in
and here we go you can see we have added the Google Maps successfully in our Flutter application as you can see that and also one thing which I told you guys is the map type for example if you want to change the map type to terrain hybrid or anything you can just do that okay and you will see the difference that this is the hybrid map okay as you can see and then if you change it to terrain then this one is the terrain so it is totally up to you which styles you like you can proceed with it but for the uber the best uh, type is the normal type okay so we will proceed with the normal one but of course whatever the type map type you like you can go with it and this is only the map type okay the map styles are different thing on which uh, we will which we will implement in the next video